What's up, Guardians? Today we have a little bit of a different video. So, um, Shadowkeep comes out in about two months now, and in preparation for Shadowkeep, I need to play more PC games, and I ended up purchasing a new mouse. This is called the Glorious Model O Gaming Mouse. Um, yeah, you can read the name there. So, the Glorious Model O Gaming Mouse is a new, relatively new mouse. I think it came out two months ago, towards the end of May. And it's a lot like the Ninja Air 58 mouse and all those other final mouses, where it's got these hex hexagon holes all over the mouse, and that makes it so... That makes the mouse a lot lighter. So you can see... If I move it over here... You can see uh, 67 grams. It's a much lighter mouse. The mouse I currently use, we can get on the camera right here. It's the Razer Mamba Tournament Edition. So it's about, I think it's 100 grams or heavier. I'm sorry, I'm stretching the mouse. It's in a mouse bungee right now. So uh, this is about, here, let me pull the wire a little bit yeah so it's about I think it's like a hundred grams or more so this mouse is gonna be the new mouse I'm getting it, the new mouse I got is going to be much lighter and therefore it's much smoother in your hand and stuff so we're gonna get right into opening it I've already opened the packaging and I tried to fill this video once and uh, I ended up changing the camera angle and stuff so I've already opened the box so don't be alarmed by the way I put the mouse back in, it came nicely packaged. So uh, let's open it up. So this is the mouse. Um, so the reason I went with something like this over a final mouse is final mouses, obviously they're, uh, they aren't sold year round. So their resale value is, uh, so to buy one of these, you have to buy it on like a secondary market, right? And therefore their resale value is crazy high. Whereas something like this from Glorious, is um, only this one's only $50 this is the this is the matte white version of the mouse so you can see there's the logo so this is the matte white version of the mouse you can get them in glossy and they're an extra $10 so they're 60 instead of 50 bucks and so the but I personally didn't go with that I went with the matte version because a lot of the times, uh, a more a glossy mouse, uh, to me, a like those glossy products tend to pick up residue easier. And if uh, your hands sweat, it's very easy for it to pick up residue and get really gross. Um, so yeah, so this is the mouse essentially. You can see it's got, if you haven't seen any product like this, which I'm sure all of you have, it's got the hexagonal holes all over the mouse, which makes it just a much lighter mouse in your hand. Um, I also went and ordered uh, an extra pair of the G-Skates because I actually heard these were really nice. Um, not like hyperglides, but uh, overall pretty nice. Uh, I chose to go with the white version because um, my keyboard is a Ducky 1-2 Mini and it's got white keycaps on it. I can actually bring it slightly. Yeah, you can see. It's hard to get the whole keyboard on. Yeah, there it is. So there's the Ducky 1-2 Mini. Um, as you can see, we went with, I went, uh, I got double shot PBT keycaps that are white. And then we went with some red keycaps as well because my favorite color is red. Um, but yeah, so that's the mouse. I probably, it's got RGB. Um, and overall, I'm probably just going to go with like a rainbow or a red because uh, my RGB on my current keyboard is rainbow. So I haven't decided with that. Let's just go over. You can see it's got the two side buttons, similar to my, um, similar to the Razer Tournament Mamba Edition, or the Razer Mamba Tournament Edition, um, and so I'll just click them, and then for the top clicks, yeah. So you can see. I mean, overall, it looks like a really nice mouse. I haven't gotten to play with it. I literally unboxed it here for you guys. Let me just click the scroll wheel for you guys. Yeah, scroll wheel, you know, a little bit stiffer. So that's pretty nice. Um, I do like the scroll wheel. It feels very similar. Um, but it's kind of a little bit stiffer. 
So probably actually a little bit nicer for when you're switching weapons. However, most of the time I switch weapons, um, I use a number key on my keyboard. So yeah, that's the mouse. It comes with a DPI switch uh, up here, right there. And so I think what I'm going to do is play a few games with it. I'm going to play um, Destiny. T I own Destiny 2 on PC, so I'm going to play Destiny 2 on PC. However, you're going to notice that my account is very different from what you've seen in previous videos. And that's just because I literally haven't played D2 PC since probably the launch. I mean, I've played, it, I've played some PvP and stuff, but I really haven't played any PvE stuff, so our guns are going to be pretty limited. But yeah, overall, that's the mouse. Um, I can definitely, like, already feel the weight difference. Like, this one obviously feels a lot heavier. Um, but overall, yeah, I'm very excited about this mouse. I've been waiting about, like, over, a little over a month for it. So I'm overall very excited. And so I think because this seems relatively short, um, we're going to add a little bit of gameplay, and I'll talk about the mouse at the end. So um, I'll see you guys then. So I'm recording this kind of uh, a few days later since I've done the Model O unboxing and in that video I said we were going to show gameplay and then talk about it. We're just going to talk about it right now. Uh, the gameplay in the background is me using the Model O mouse on PC. My PC account is very limited in terms of items I have and things like that. So that's why I'm using a nightshade and some shotgun from year one. Basically, my PC doesn't own, my PC account doesn't own, like, Forsaken or anything like that. I think it literally owns Vanilla Destiny 2. But I want to talk about the mouse. So, um, the mouse overall feels great. Uh, it's way lighter than my previous mouse. Um, it's, uh, once again, it's like 60 plus grams. Um, and the light, the light feeling makes it feel much more controlled. And the different cord rather than that braided cable um, the new cord is much smoother and doesn't get in the way nearly as often on the model O so that's really nice um, the smaller the mouse is a little bit smaller than previously and it has a much flatter uh, it's very it feels very almost flat um, in the mouse it doesn't have a real bump in the back or anything like that which I'm kind of used to but that's something I can get used to over time and honestly, after playing with it for a little bit, it didn't. Uh, I've adjusted well to the way it feels and the way it holds. Um, the hexagonal holes throughout it, you don't feel those at all when you're gaming. You may feel them on your like palm or wherever you hold the mouse, but uh, it it's not uncomfortable. Nothing like that. Um, I will say with the mouse, uh, the scroll wheel feels a bit stiffer than before. So whether you or not you like kind of a stiff scroll wheel um, really is going to change your preference on the mouse. I felt that it was stiff. It wasn't a big deal. I mapped my um, rocket launcher to my scroll wheel, my power weapon. So I don't switch to it that often in the middle of a game. So it's not that big a deal. Um, the other thing that I very much noticed was the side buttons on the mouse are much smaller than my previous mouse which is something that I had to get used to but it didn't take me very long to get used to it it's just something different they're much more they're smaller and more narrow so um, it's pretty interesting they are in a good position on the mouse it's not like I'm ever I feel like I'm ever reaching for one of the side buttons and overall I think it's a really good mouse um, I'll keep playing with it and I just want to say that for its price, it's definitely a really good deal. However, um, it seems like a lot of people think this mouse is really good, um, and it's finally an affordable version of like a final mouse. So it gets, or I think it gets ordered a lot. And as I said, I had to wait a month for my order. So if you are planning on getting a new mouse for Destiny 2 Shadowkeep, and you are looking into this mouse, I would recommend ordering it sooner than later because you want to make sure that it's here by the time Shadowkeep comes around and Shadowkeep's only about a month and a half away at this point a little less than two months away so definitely keep that in mind and so with the rest of this gameplay I just want to talk about moving to PC because I don't think I've actually said that anywhere in a video or whatever um, so I've been playing PS4 Destiny since 
Destiny 1 released, and this fall I'm going to be moving over to PC. Uh, I've played a few PC games in the past, specifically I played a lot of PUBG when that first released. So I'm a little bit used to PC uh, gaming, but it's definitely not something I feel that I'm even remotely mediocre at. I still feel very, I don't know, I definitely feel worse on PC than I do playing a console. Um, so that's going to be something I'm going to get used to, uh, I'm going to have to get used to. I'm sure there's a bunch of people out there who are going to be switching that are also going to have to get used to PC gaming for the first time. But overall, I can't say I'm really excited about it. I love learning new things, especially when it comes to video games and stuff like that. So learning to play on a PC for the first time for a game that I'm really like interested in in the long term, um, I'm really excited for the future of PC Destiny, and I'm really excited to go over there. The other reasons I'm moving to PC um, is that... Uh, I have friends over on PC, uh, they don't play a lot of Destiny, but it would be nice to be able to play games with them and talk to them in discords and stuff like that, so it'll be overall be able to move over and play more games, and then finally, um, 30 FPS in the Crucible just really isn't cutting it, and I think you can see that amongst all of the, uh, many of the Destiny YouTubers, uh, that have already swapped to PC before crossplay was even announced, so... Those are some of the main reasons I'm switching. I just kind of want to play at a higher frame rate and just play a better looking, better version of the game that uh, we all really enjoy. So that's kind of why I'm moving to PC. Uh, I will still have my P. I will still occasionally play on P PS4 because I do have. Uh, I know for a fact I do have a couple friends that will not be moving to PC in the fall and they'll still be on PS4. So I'll be playing a little bit of both, but when it's just me by myself playing Destiny 2, we'll be playing on a PC, um, and I'm really excited for it. So yeah, I uh, highly suggest the mouse, which is what most of this video was about. I definitely recommend this mouse, and I think that you'll really enjoy it if you end up picking it up, but I do suggest if you want the glorious Model O mouse, pick it up sooner than later just because, uh, just because of the shipping of the time it'll take to ship but hope you guys enjoyed the video i will see you guys later bye